Now the feds, writing laws to shut down small farms and ranches, are going to come in with money to buy off the locals and set up the, quote, aid agencies as their policies bankrupt you to pose as the good guys and then spy on rural communities. Get this. You don't believe me. I've played Fox News even reporting it. CNN reported it and said how good it was. CIA, FBI, Defense Intelligence, Regular Army, Homeland Security, and Viper TSA teams in your cornfields. Rural councils. I don't need a Congress. I don't need states. Launching wars. I don't need Congress. Carbon taxes. I don't need Congress. Gun control. I don't need Congress. 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 Why have a stink in Congress? If, if we let this continue, pretty soon it'll be, ha, that Alex Jones claims that we used to have a Congress. That Alex Jones claims cows were once fed grass. That Alex Jones claims that women once breastfed their children. Ha, Alex Jones claims that birds once flew. Alex Jones claims that once we could own guns. Ha, 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 how ridiculous. Alex Jones claims we once could drive our own cars and they weren't remote controlled and controlled by the NSA and Google. Oh yeah, Arizona just passed a law to start having the Google uh, cars drive themselves on the road. There goes your job. There, that gives the globalist total control. Alex Jones claims once the military actually fought wars instead of robots and drones. See, this is their, their world where everything is taken over. Ha, Alex Jones claims once women had children vaginally. Everybody knows that a stork came and cut women open, and that they were always born by cesarean section. Now more than half the children in this country are born by cesarean section, and they're th now threatening women if they won't have it. They're taking control of the entire human biological operation. All right, we're going to a guest here in a moment with some big breaking news. But I'm going to be covering this more next hour. We got Dr. Jerome Corsi coming up with the latest on the birth certificate for about 20, 30 minutes. Then I'm getting into this big issue and all the other news. But it's here. And they call tyranny liberty. They're not going to call it martial law or dictatorship of the puppet president under the bankers. Banker occupation, bankster occupation. They're not going to call it that. They're going to call new wars peace actions. You see, everything's upside down. Up is down, down is up. Black is white, white is black. Two plus two equals whatever they say it equals. And if you say two plus two equals four, you're a conspiracy theorist. If you don't like being groped, they now call you a conspiracy theorist by the TSA. On record. You read George Arwell where he's torturing Winston. O'Brien is, the inner party member, and he's, he's torturing him for months. And he finally says, now what is 2 plus 2 equal? And he sees 5, 10, 20. He goes, I don't know. Whatever you say, it's all blurred. And he, he can't think anymore. And he goes, now you're cured. I'm releasing you. And Winston's waiting for execution, but he's been released to the Chestnut Cafe to drink synthetic gin. And he hears propaganda on the news that Big Brother's just won a big victory. He even guesses what the lies are going to be, knows it's a lie, but still loves it and accepts it and can't wait to be killed. That's how the book ends. And that's the general public. They love it. They love it. They love it. They love it. And they're going to get it. Don't worry. You want to get hurt real bad? Tyranny is here and it's growing. So that's all coming up. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.